Hi. Um, we're continuing with Around the World in San Francisco by Leonard Austin. And where we left off, um, we're actually at five. Um, it's six three today. American Indian. So we're going uh, race by race of the major constituent um, uh, cultures uh, starting that were living in San Francisco. The census of 1950 gives the number of American Indians in the Metropolitan Bay region as 1368, 331 of them um, in the San Francisco. Um, the number has increased by several thousand in the past two years since Indians are leaving their reservations by the hundreds every month. To help Indians become adjusted to urban life, the Bureau of Indian Affairs has opened an office in Oakland and has already located nearly 100 families within six months and expects to relocate 400 in the next year. As of 1958, there are approximately 2,500 Indians in the San Francisco, Oakland area. Um, these are American Indians. Um, as of 1958, um, American Indians have found jobs in the industrial plants of the East Bay City, where they're employed as mechanics, truck drivers, assembly plant workers. Indians have achieved great skill as iron workers, first-rate structural steel men, as sure-footed as a narrow girder as their ancestors were on a forest trail. They're completely composed in jobs requiring work at great heights, window washers, riggers in shipyards, and industrial painters. Dozens were imported here to work on the Golden Gate and Bay Bridges. Um, Plains Indians often um, Plains Indians often find work as stockyard attendants, instructors in woodcraft, and Indian lore at summer camp. The women are employed as sales girls. Uh, let's see, stenographers and many, okay, that's kind of being gender biased. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of men and women that do all kinds of work. So. Um, so, and many carry on the old handcraft, doing beadwork and leather craft. Um, Many of the migratory workers of the 30s were Indians or part Indians from the Oklahoma tribe, Kiowas, Cherokees, Osages. During the war years, they settled in Oakland, where these, there already was a colony of Pomos and Madocs of long residence. Since the First World War, in a community of converted box cars, Near the Santa Fe Yards in Richmond, ha has dwelled 50 families of New Mexico Indians. Um, Acoma and Laguna Pueblo. Indians uh, arriving in the last few years are largely Sioux, Mandan, and from other Dakota tribes. The Four Winds Club, a group of Indian ladies meeting regularly at YWCA,
on the page. Hello. Um, in the W Wayne WCA at 1515 Webster Street in Oakland is the only social center for Indians at the present. Indians of the Bay Region belong to 38 tribes, including the Eskimo, uh, and use their native tongue. Uh, native tongues, some 25 languages uh, used as their native tongue. Um, the older residents are all Christians, mostly Protestants. The, the uh, Richmond Pueblo community is Roman Catholic, celebrate many feasts in a mixture of pagan and Catholic ceremonies. About the beginning of September, the traditional Acoma corn dance is performed. And on January 6th, special church services of, and ancient Spanish festivities honor the three kings. Many of the most recent arrivals, especially those from the Sioux and Navajo, continue to believe in their tribal gods. Information on American Indians in our midst can be obtained from the Office of the Bureau of Indian Affairs at 84 Taylor Street, the American Indian Center, uh, uh, 16th Street, and, oh, they're two separate. Uh, huh. Okay. So, the next uh, culture we're doing is Arabic speaking peoples. There are no accurate statistics for Arabic speaking peoples. Immigrants from Arabic countries of Asia are not counted separately but are listed under the heading Asia in the census reports and those from North Africa are including included under the heading others. Leaders among the residents here claim 1,200 whose native tongue is Arabic, including both native and foreign-born. Um, mm, native, are they saying Native Americans? Is that what they're saying? The majority is Syrian, but their country of origin is not only Syria, but also Lebanon, Israel, Egypt, and North African cities, especially Algiers and Casablanca. Driven from their homes from World War I by Turkish misrule, Syrians first settled in New York and Boston. In, in San Francisco, they arrived about 50 years ago and ha have settled throughout the city, down the peninsula and across the bay. Most Arabic-speaking people are communicants of one or the other of the Christian churches of the Near East. Some are members of the Eastern Rites of the Catholic Church, Maronite or Maltite, both of which recognize the Pope's supremacy. Most, however, are communicants of the Eastern Orthodox Church. The, there are two, about 50, 150, Arabic-speaking Jews from um, Syria and Iraq. Um, there are also few Druses. Since World War II, some Muslims from Israel Um, let me see. Wait, wait, wait. There are also a few Druses. Wait. Since World War II. Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> There's like a dog staring at me. Doggy. Um. Let me see, okay. A few Druses since World War II. Some Muslims from 
Israel, Syria, Egypt, and Iraq have found their way to the shores of San Francisco Bay. Okay, there are also a few Jerusalem, Israel, so they're also Muslims, right? So, um, so their churches are Eastern Orthodox, St. Nicholas Syrian Orthodox, Green and Gao Street. Also, the Muslim is the Islamic Center at 2030 Broadway. Jewish Center is uh, Magian David uh, 351 Forest Avenue. And their organizations, American Syrian Lebanese Society at 1675 Green Street. Okay, next culture is called Armenian. I just made my arm all black. Okay. Um, Armenians are included in the Asia total of the United States Census. Unofficial figures of the group leaders here estimate between 2,000 and 2,500 Armenian Americans about the Bay Area. Many speak Turkish as well as Armenian and are often included in the census figures as being of Turkish stock. The three greatest areas of concentration in the United States are the Boston, Worcester area, and then Fresno, and New York City, New Jersey district. Fresno is the seat of a bishop of the Armenian Gregorian Church, the oldest national church of any faith. Some Armenians are um, Protestants and others are Catholics with their own right. Um, so, who's ranking pretty late is a cardinal of the Roman Church. Armenian Americans all over the country are proud of two San Francisco Armenians, William Sarayan, author and playwright winner of two Pulitzer Prizes, and George Mardikian, restaurant de Lux, and author of Dinner at Omar Khayyam. The Armenian American community has a large proportion of business and professional men. It has a monopoly of the rug business in the city, the importing, selling, repairing, and cleaning of fine oriental rugs. Many are salesmen, accountants, and they most uh, mo, um, they mo own most of the street flower stands in San Francisco. Did not know that. <laughs> um, nor have I ever seen one there when I been there. But, uh, on the first Thursday after June 15, Armenians honor Saint Sahak and Mesrob, who translated the Bible into Armenian. Um, into Armenian Independence Day when the short-lived uh, Yerevan Republic was founded in 1918 is observed on May 25th while April 24th is marked by memorial services for the martyrs who suffered during World War One. I'm not sure what they mean by short-lived Yerevan Republic, so it's, it's the capital, Yerevan is the capital, um, it wasn't independent and uh, it's not a republic, it's just a city, it's a capital city, it's not a country, and it does still exist, I don't know what they're saying, but okay. Um, and then churches are Armenian Apostolic Church, Gregorian St. John, 175 Olympia Way, San Francisco, St. Gregory the Eliminator, 245 7th Street in San Francisco, and St. Vartan, 23rd Avenue and East 17th Street in Oakland. Uh, Protestant churches, Calvary Congregational, 133 938th Avenue in SF, Bethany Congregational, 3855 Whittier Avenue in Oakland and organizations, ARF, Rosdom Hall, 
1552 Page Street in SF, American National Committee for Homeless Armenians, 207 Powell Street, very specific name. Um, Armenian General Benevolent Union, 5552 Mission Street in SF, and Armenian General Benevolent Union, uh, also 4100 Norton Street in Oakland. Restaurant Omar Kayam, 183 O'Farrell Street, and then the Cairo 79 4th Street, and uh, the Little Lamb at 1587 University Avenue in Berkeley. Uh, nor have I ever seen that when I was there. Um, so then, let's see. So the next culture uh, is uh, Austrian. So the, they have Assyrian as Iranian and Australian as British for some reason. I don't know why. So Austrian. The 30... Excuse me, 13,000 persons listed in the census as of Austrian as of Austrian birth or parentage are of German ethnic stock. The dismemberment of Austria after World War One left many thousands of German speaking Austrians in other countries. Um so Hungary, Czechoslovakia, for example. Many hundreds of these people have come into the city in the last decade and usually associate with their Austrian co-nationals. Uh, most Austrians are Roman Catholics, but during the 1930s, many Jewish refugees from the Nazis arrived. Um, they were professional and business people and settled in a considerable group in Berkeley. Some of this group have opened little cafes and bakeries where they serve the delicacies of Vienna. Among them are the Little Corner House at 901 Sutter Street, Old Europe Cafe at 2380 Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley. The Austrian Society meets weekly at California Hall at uh, Turk and Polk Streets. Um, and then, so okay. Next is uh, the culture called Basques. It is po impossible to figure the number of Basques in the city due to the mobility of the group. It is estimated there are no more than 100 Basques living permanently in the city, but at certain seasons, there are well over a thousand. Not sure what is that. Basque seamen, shepherds from sheep stations in Idaho and Nevada who stop here on their way to and from frequent visits to the motherland. Um... The transients gather at the hotels along Broadway and Vallejo Street. Basques speak either Spanish or French. Okay. Now I kind of recognize them. So then, uh, uh, and then according to the country, their origin. But their native tongue, Euskadi, has no relation to any uh, other la known language. Mm, philologists uh, claim that it is a remnant of the language of the extinct Iberians. Basques have a social center at the Club Vasco, 734 Broadway. Some Basque hotels that serve food are Hotel Espanol, 719 Broadway, Hotel Pyrenees, Pyrenees, 759 Broadway, Globo Hotel, 771 Broadway, Hotel de España, 781 Broadway. And then Belgium, a, a thousand first and second generation Belgian Americans live in San Francisco Bay Area. The largest colony in the nation, numbering 12,000, is in New York. I mean, Detroit, Michigan. Um, most, um, 
San Francisco Belgians speak both French and Flemish. Their society is the Belgian Benevolent Society, which me meets monthly at 1750 Clay Street. Very specific details. <laughs> I don't know if these locations are still accurate, but we have some. So, um, so then Bohemian, it says C Czech. Then British. Um, the 1950 census reported among the foreign uh, white stock in the Bay Area. <laughs> white stock. Oh dear. 17,000 natives of England and Wales, including 100 Manx, uh, 7,000 from Scotland, 19,000 from uh, Canadians. Uh, 12,000, I mean 1,200 from Australia. Uh, so these from Canada, from Canada, from Australia. So big chunk uh, is from from Canada and a relatively large chunk from Scotland. Uh, and a uh, smaller chunk from Australia. And these are grouped under British. Uh, there are also some New Zealanders and English-speaking natives of British overseas colonies. Adding these all together and including the native-born uh, of Brit a Brit British parentage makes a total of 100,000 British Americans. That's a big chunk of British-born. 100,000 in the San Francisco, Oakland, metropolitan area. So this is showing the de descendants, I guess. Some musicians. Alrighty. This does not, of course, give any idea of the numbers of um, those uh, of British origin. People from Great Britain, Canada, and Australia were here over a hundred years ago in the little set settlement of Yerba Buena, um, which means good grass, by the way. Um, British Britishers now live in all sections of the Bay Area cities and towns and um, are all well assimilated into the community. So we have a rough estimate, no specific, but okay. Um, natives of England and Wales. So isn't in England and Britain the same? Anyway. Okay, um, the first resident of Yerba Buena was the Englishman Richardson and the Britishers from the British Isles and from British stock in America uh, have contributed to the well-being of San Francisco ever since. Yankee clipper ships and whalers laid the foundation to build the tremendous foreign trade of the port of San Francisco. British men and money founded banks, transportation companies, and insurance firms. Boston Money and New England Preachers um, uh, built the first Protestant churches of the West Coast. Uh, the Young Men's and Young Women's Christian Association were founded by Britishers. The names of Richardson, Sam Brandon, Andrew Halliday, Lada, Crabtree, Thomas Dar King, John McLaren, William Keith, and Matthew Barnes are only a few of the Britishers who have given much to the city of their adoption in trade and business, cable cars, entertainment, civil rights, landscaping, and art. Most Britishers are Protestants. The ma majority members of the Episcopalian, Methodist, and Presbyterian churches um, 
so then, um, okay, so there are part of those, all of those different churches. Presbyterian, Methodist, Episcopal, Episcopalian, and Protestant. There are many Congregationalists and Christian scientists and a surprising number of spiritualists. Some Canadians and Australians of Irish ancestry are Roman Catholics, and there are Jews from England and the cities of the British Commonwealth, a tiny group of Scottish Catholics from the Hebrides and Nova Scotia are predominantly Presbyterian, as are the Welsh. Since 1948, many Shanghai prosperous, business and professional men from Shanghai and the other China cities have taken up residence in our city. A large number of retired English military men and civil servants have settled across the bay in Marin County in those delightful towns of Sausalito and Belvedere. English celebrate St. George's Day on April 23. St. Andrew's Day is observed by the Scots on November 30. Scots um, have preserved their individualism more than other Britishers by fostering their customs and dances by um, supporting the bagpipe band and by the annual gathering of the clan, usually at the stadium in Golden Gate Park. Okay. Um, they have also... Okay. The Welsh have magnif magnificent choirs preserve their native speech to the extent that one of every five Welshmen, native and foreign-born, is fluent in the ancient Cymric. Their national holiday is St. David's Day, March 1st. Churches in San Francisco, Protestant Church of the Advent, 36 Trafalgar Street, St. Francis Episcopal, San Fernando Way and Ocean Avenue, Holy Innocence, 455 Fair Oaks Street, Trinity Episcopal Bush and Cough Street, First Presbyterian Venice Avenue and Sacramento Street, St. Paul's Presbyterian, 133943rd Avenue, St. David's Welsh, 449 14th Street, in Alameda County, Protestant uh, St. James Episcopal, 17th Street and 13th Avenue in Oakland. Uh, St. Clement uh, Episcopal, Claremont and Russell Avenue in Berkeley. The Brooklyn Presbyterian, 1269 15th Street in Oakland. Welsh Presbyterian, 1726 Castro Street in Oakland. In Marine County, Christ Episcopal, 41 Santa Rosa Avenue in Sausalito. Organizations in San Francisco, English Speaking Union, 465 Past, oh no, Post Street, British Benevolent Society, 333 Kearney Street, Order of Sons of St. George, 625 Turk Street, Daughters of the British Empire. Sir Francis Drake Chapter 175 Beamon Avenue, Canadian Legion Veterans Building, Van Ness Avenue in McAllister, Australian Society in uh, 4683 18th Street, Manx Society 1537 20th Avenue, Clan Fraser Order of Scottish Clans 44 Page Street, Clan McNeil Association, 531 Clay Street, St. Andrew's Society, 602 California Street, Caledonia Club, 44 Page Street, Daughters of Scotia, 26 7th Street, Caledonia Pipe Band, 1760 Ellis Street, Scottish Culture Society, 414 Mason Street. In Alameda County, Order of Sons of St. George, 2436 Grove Street in Oakland. And the same name also in 2329 Santa Clara Avenue in Alameda. Then St. Andrew's Society, 3829 Piedmont Avenue, Oakland. 
Scottish Ladies Club, 1549 Oak Street in Oakland. Clan McDonald, Order of Scottish Clans, 2436 Grove Street in Oakland. Same address as before. Daughter of Scotia, 1918 Grove Street in Oakland. Canadian Legion, 200 Grand Avenue in Oakland. British Com Commonwealth Club, 2436 Grove Street and Bay Region, Lancashire, Lancashire, uh, same address as before, on Grove Street, 2436. And San Mateo County has Order of Sons of St. George um, at 849 San Mateo Drive in San Mateo, and Canadian Legion Peninsula Post Veterans Building in Redwood City, and a bookshop, Scottish Imports, 352 Sutter Street. So, hmm, um, I think we're going to pause right here. So, I uh, thank you guys. Uh, my page is facebook.com, yosalplay, Y-O-S-A-L-L-P-L-A-Y. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.